everybody. Today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to create a sample web chat application and I'm going to do so using the following technologies which include JavaScript, Java, Postgres, SQL, Keycloak, and Tomcat. And just an FYI, this is going to be part one of two or three video series. This video is going to be focused more on creating the Keycloak application and actually creating the database and the table necessary for the app to work. I will do subsequent videos on how to create the front-end JavaScript and HTML and the Java web application. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Okay guys, here's going to be the chat example that I have. I do have two browsers open where we're going to log into each one as a different user. And we're going to just start posting messages and see how the chat feature works. So you can see here I logged in as test user, but the actual user's name is John Smith. And then this other one is test user 2. And you're going to see here after logging in that the name is Adam Tarley. So you can see in the top there is a message box where you can post your message as part of the chat. And then there is the post message button. And then there is a text box area where you'll see the chat history so you can see exactly who's typing what. So if I type here ABC on the John Smith uh, you know, browser, you'll see that it's going to be shown up in the message box in both. And as part of the chat, I do post the, the username of each message there. So you can see exactly who wrote what message uh, every single time something is posted. So I'm just going to do a couple more uh, you know, messages here back and forth so you can see it being reflected in the text box. So you can see how it's working right now. So things look good, and you can see again the username associated to each message and each message being displayed. So let's just go ahead and log out for now. So as mentioned before, this YouTube video is going to be showing how to create a chat application. And so it's going to use a few technologies which I'll go over in the next page. So what this means is that we're going to be doing the following things, which is we're going to create an HTML and JavaScript front end page. We're going to create a Java web application back end. And we're going to utilize Apache Tomcat server, Keycloak, and PostgreSQL to finish up this website. Okay, so we're going to be utilizing Keycloak to be the user authentication into this chat application. The Apache Tomcat server will be used to serve the HTML Java, uh, JavaScript pages. So we can go to a URL such as HTTP localhost and then the context root and actually see the HTML JavaScript pages. And the Tomcat server is going to launch the Java web application which is going to talk to the database endpoint. And of course, PostgreSQL will be the database where we're going to be storing the chat information in. So let's go ahead and get started. OK, over here, we're going to start running Keycloak. And we're going to go ahead and set up a new client ID for this application to connect to. So first thing here, I have this uh, endpoint file here, which has my database endpoint um, data so such as the endpoint itself the port and the username and password to log in so you'll have your own endpoint uh, when you create your own database endpoint so we're going to do this command docker run and if you notice here I have the port mapping from 8080 within the container to 8081 and the reason why I have that is because later I'm going to run the Apache client server or the Apache Tomcat server and that runs on the 8080 port as well so there will be a conflict and both couldn't be run at the same time on the same port so I changed the key clock to be on 8081 on this local machine so let the logs just you know indicate when it's finished Now let's go ahead into Keycloak website. So again, we're going to do localhost colon 8081. And let's go ahead and create a new chat client app. So here's realm one, an existing realm that we have. Click on create here in clients and for the client ID, select chat app. And let's go down here and start entering the redirect URLs. And these are going to be URLs associated with the Apache server uh, client, or say chat uh, HTML page that we're going to be creating soon. Click save. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and create a database and a table for this chat app. 
So using the psql command, we're going to go ahead and connect to our existing database. Then let's go ahead and create a database called demo1. And you can see that it's created. And you can see it listed there by doing the backslash t command to see the databases. And now we're going to go ahead and execute this command to give all privileges to the user Postgres to the demo1 database. So now you can see that the access privileges here for that database is now like built as compared to before there was nothing there. So once again let's go ahead and connect to the database but directly into the demo1 database. And this time we're going to go ahead and create this table here. Create table group messages and you can see that I have several columns that's going to be placed in there. One is the you know serial ID for each message, which is going to be the primary key, and then I'm going to have columns for the username, user ID, and the actual message itself. Okay, guys, thank you for watching part one of the video. Hopefully, this was useful for you guys. I will be following this up with a couple other videos on how to create the front end application, which is going to consist of just a simple HTML and JavaScript code. And now we'll also post another video on how to do the back end code, the Java web application. So you know, once again, thank you guys for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And just as an FYI, you can follow me in other social media. I do have an Instagram page, a Facebook page, and a Patreon. So any support that you guys can give would be great. And it doesn't have to be monetary. Just you know, just any support that you can give, you know, whether just reviewing, sharing, and like and subscribing would just be you know perfect itself. So that's it, guys. Thank you, and see you next time.